Welcome to Device Help Support. Your ultimate destination for everything related to device setup, troubleshooting, and optimizing your tech experiences. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos related to setup, troubleshooting, and unboxing. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you don't miss our latest videos. So our today's topic is how to set up D-Link COVR1100 mesh router. The D-Link COVR1100 is a dual-band mesh Wi-Fi router that provides strong and seamless internet coverage across your home. It connects multiple units to create one unified network, so your devices stay connected without signal drops as you move around. So without wasting any time let's start the setup process. Firstly, unbox the devices. Inside the D-Link COVR1100 box, you'll find the mesh nodes, usually two or three units, each with its own power adapter, plus an Ethernet cable and a quick start guide to help you get everything set up fast and easily. Now place the main COVR unit near your internet modem. Use the included Ethernet cable to connect your modem to the WAN internet port of the main COVR1100. Plug in the power adapter and turn it on. Wait about 1 to 2 minutes for the LED to turn blinking orange, indicating it's ready for setup. Look at the label under the COVR1100 for the default Wi-Fi name, SSID, and password. Use a phone, tablet, or PC to connect to that Wi-Fi. Alternatively, you can connect a computer using a LAN, Ethernet, cable. Open Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or any browser. In the address bar, type http colon slash slash covr dot local or http colon slash slash 192.168.0.1 and press enter. You'll see the router login screen. Use the default admin password printed on the device. If prompted, create a new admin password for future access. The setup wizard will launch automatically. If not, Go to Settings and then Setup Wizard. Click Next to begin. The wizard will try to auto detect your connection type. First one is DHCP, Dynamic IP, most ISPs. Second one is PPPoE, if your ISP gave you a username password. And the third one is Static IP, if your ISP gave you a specific IP address. Enter any required credentials if prompted. Create a new admin password to secure the router's login interface. This is separate from the Wi-Fi password. Select your time zone. The router may check for firmware updates, choose to update now or skip. Click Save or Finish to apply all settings. The router will reboot and apply your new Wi-Fi name and password. I hope this video will prove helpful for you. If you're stuck in middle of the process then don't worry. Contact our professional experts at 1-323-507-3713. They will solve your problem as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe devices help and support. And also stay tuned for the more updates.